floss tube number 88. My name is Candace. This is my channel about cross stitch and sometimes some other crafts. Uh, I have one of those other crafts today. I haven't started it yet, but you'll get to see my plans. So it's very, very hot here in Northwest Indiana. I don't know what it's like where the rest of you are since people are spread out all over the place, but it is very hot here. Um, we had to turn our air conditioning on. I think it's about 86 out right now, um, and it's 5.40 in the evening. So very unseasonably warm for beginning mid-May. Uh, yeah, so the kids are already asking to go in the pool, which hasn't even been uncovered yet, or filled back up, or treated. So they're insane. Um, I hope everyone that celebrated for Mother's Day, oh, my hair is rough. It's really humid out too. Um, my husband, side note, sorry. My husband and I went and got mulch after work. So because he can't load it in his car, we had to load it in the van. So I met him over there and we got 15 bags of mulch. And it's so hot. <laughs> we were just both dying in our work clothes. So yeah, we're gonna be doing some mulching this weekend. But, um, oh, hold please, dog. Okay, sorry, I didn't wanna leave the dogs outside because it's hot out and none of us are used to it yet. So, um, what was I? Mulch, hot, I forgot where I was. Oh, Mother's Day, so if, you celebrate if you have a mom, had a mom, are a mom, act as a mom. Happy Mother's Day. Um, yeah, I didn't stitch a single stitch on Mother's Day. We, I slept in. My husband got me donuts for breakfast, which I definitely didn't need, but enjoyed anyway. Um, and then we went to the Friendship Botanical Gardens that are here in Michigan City, and took the dogs for about a two and a half mile walk. So they have like a little playground area, so we would like drop the kids and go walk around one part of it and then come back and be like, hey, how's it going? All right, we'll be back. <laughs> We'd go walk again, because they kept wanting to stop and, you know, look at the baby geese and read all of the little placards that are in each of the little gardens and, that's really cool, but my intention was to get some active movement, and I couldn't get active movement if we kept stopping, so. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what we did for Mother's Day. And then we had ribs, because that was my choice. So my husband grilled some ribs. But hopefully everyone had a good weekend. The weather was really nice. We did some mulching out front on Saturday, and um, my shoulder definitely cranky. So the mulch that's going to go under the deck is going to be uh, interesting. It's going to be interesting to do this weekend. So how about we just get right to this finish I had? Hi, Bella. She's coming over here sniffing my yarn. Get away from my yarn. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Well, there you just got your first hint of what's coming. So this is... It was almost done last week, so I'm sure you guys know which one it is. If I can find the thing for it. This is Antique Cups and Spoons by Shakespeare's Peddler. Y'all, look at this nail polish. I'm just loving it. If I have to stop and get up again, I'll go get it and tell you what the color is. But So this is on a... Once again, I forgot to bring my little book over. It's a 32 count. I just don't remember what the fabric is. So here's where I was last week. Wait, is that right? Yeah. And there's my finish. So when I told you guys last week that I just had two cups left, it was actually two cups and a spoon. <laughs> and I had also mentioned how I only had a tiny little bit of this color left from Color and Cotton. So I went through my 
my um, color and cotton that I get because I get the monthly, I get 10 skeins. And guess what? I found a dusty blue. However, it is way more variegated than the other one. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, my thought was to just do like half crosses all the way across and then come back and maybe it'll help blend it a little bit instead of being so like shockingly two colors. Because this, I mean, you can tell it's variegated, but it's not, you know, sorry, there we go. But it's not crazy. It's not as dark and light as this one is. So we will see. So now I only have one more left. And that is the antique scissors and spools. So I don't know when I'm going to start that one, but it's going to go on the same fabric. With the same threads. But yeah, so there's my finish. And then, um, I only have two whips. Because I pretty much just worked on this stuff. So, we've got Barbara Anna. This is Spellville. This is the one it only, sorry, foldy paper. Three colors. It was a mystery stitch along. It was three parts. And then, um... When I got it, it was all one. It came as all one, so. Stitching it up. This is on a 32 count, not another sampler by Be Stitch Me. Here's where I was last time. And I have a th thread here, because I'll tell you why in a second, because I got a problem. And there's where it is now. So, yay, it looks fantastic. Woohoo! However, I am fairly certain that, uh, messed everything up here, that, um, I hit the camera. So, it, sorry, hopefully, I didn't give anybody, like, nausea. Anyway, so, on to this. I am almost done. All I have is this little part of the key left. However, this section from about here, all this right here, I need to rip out. I have one too many rows right here. There should only be four of the two stitches and there's five. So I'm gonna rip that out tomorrow and then finish this baby. I don't know if I'm going to put it in a hoop or just try and find like a small frame for it. I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish that and then do the back stitch. There's some little back stitch leaves and then the strings that are hanging, holding everything onto the key. So yeah, super excited about that. So I will, that's why I had thread still attached to my needle. It's the only color I've left. So, hooray for having to rip out stitches. And, of course, I realized it. Thankfully, I didn't get more done before I realized it. Um, but I realized it with, like, 15 minutes left at work today. My boss left at noon. So I didn't really have a whole lot to do. Uh, and I did grab this because, just in case you're curious about the nails, it is the Sally Hansen. And Hunger Flames. Love it. I usually wear dark colors, so this is springy for me. Um, set that there so I don't drop it. And then my last whip, Mini Home for the Winter. This is my focus this month uh, for semi seen stitchers. And here's where I was before. And there's where I am now. So, 
So yes, I got some more house done. Starting on the trees over here. This is the top of one of the trees and then there's another one right here. So I'm getting started on those. Um, working my way down this diagonal right here. So um, getting way more of the house done. And then I, there's two little shrubberies right here. But then I'll have these trees and that bit of sky and then I can move it and start working on the rest of it. I'm very excited. It's on a 25 count um, ivory Lugana that I had in my stash. This piece of fabric is actually really, really old. Um, it came with a bunch of floss that my mom had given me, so I don't know what kind it is. I don't know anything about it, except that it was the right size for this project. So, um, I just love it. I love Lucy Pitaway's artwork. I love it. And it's so much fun to stitch this and just see it come to life. So this is a mini and a, a lot of people, when I first started, you know, investigating full coverage, they're like, oh, the mini doesn't have as much detail. It, um, doesn't look as good. And I can see how some things would not look good this small, but you gotta admit, this looks really good. I mean, it has the detail, it, in person, the shades of the house, like, all right in here it just looks like artwork so um I thoroughly enjoy this I don't want to stop stitching it <laughs> so I will probably work on it tonight um the last two nights though I didn't stitch at night because my, sh my shoulders kind of bugging me but um I read I've been reading Y'all don't want to know what I'm reading. It's like YA fiction. So, um, yeah. Now, as far as the new project goes, um, I got my yarn in the mail and I did a swatch because the yarn that she used for, here's the sweater. This is called Peach Fuzz. Um, it's by Melanie Berg and she goes by Maryland on her, um, on her patterns but she designed and knit this as she was going through chemo treatments and finishing those chemo treatment chemo treatments and recovering from um, you know all that comes with chemo so she lost her hair and as it started to grow back she fully embraced her peach fuzz so this sweater is amazing. I'm in love with it. I didn't even bother to, my goal this year was I wanted to finish a bunch of knit projects that I have that have been languishing. And when I saw this, I was like, no, I, I have to, I gotta knit this like now. So here's my swatch. This color is called Softly. It is from Miss Babs, and then, so I'm going to leave that picture up there so you guys can see um, where the colors are going to get used. So these two colors will be the sleeves. So those will be the stripes and the sleeves. And then the body of the sweater, oh, and that, this cream color is, where'd it go? Oh, white peppercorn. I think I've had that color before. And then this top one, so this will be for the top of the sweater. This is called Cattail. And then this one is called Japanese Maple. So this will be the top of the sweater, and this will be the body of the sweater. And then this will be like the cuffs and the um, ribbing at the bottom too. So... Let me get all these together for you so you can see. I wanted to do a little more subtle. I mean, obviously, I still need to ball these up. So there you go. There's my sweater. 
I mean, obviously not yet, but this is what it'll look like. I'm very excited. Uh, so the pattern calls for, um, it's a worsted weight yarn from Wool Folk, and it's called Far. But it's a, instead of being plied, like this yarn is plied, there's like, I mean, you know, kind of like embroidery floss is plied. Um, Wool Folk Far is like a chainette, so it's, um, it's kind of chained, but it's stretchier. Like the actual yarn itself is stretchier, so the gauge is completely different than what you get from regular um, plied yarn. So I had to do a little maths, but um, I think it's going to work. I'm going to knit a size 4, um, which I figured out by my swatch. So I will, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-cake this and un- I mean, I'm already kind of undoing my swatch now because <laughs> I didn't, you know, cut the end off or anything. But um, I like the way the fabric looks and feels. So I'm just going with uh, a U.S. size 4 needle instead of a size 6. And um, I'll just knit one size bigger because I really like the fabric of this. I like the way it feels. So that's going to be my sweater, my peach fuzz sweater. And then I got some stuffs in the mail, aside from just yarn. Um, I got my color and cotton, my May. It's so pretty. What color is that? That's like a white, white. So those are the colors. And I try not to take these out of the package until I'm ready to put them in their color containers. Because cats. Cats are jerks. And then, if you guys watched Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching, you already saw this. But I got my 2023 Keepsake Calendar. Now, this is not from Keepsakes. Need a workshop. This is from Craftways. Um, I think you can get it through Hirschner's. But here is the phone number right there. Go ahead and write it down if you would like to see if you can still get this. I will not be giving this one away, mainly because Barbara Ann is in this one. So December 2022. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just show you the big one. Barbara Anna, guys. Look at those houses. So many houses. I love it. It is a ton of stitching, but I love it. I like it a lot. And then the other one that I really liked, there's actually a couple of them, but here's, we'll do a quick flip through. So here's January. I really like those cardinals a lot. There's February. March, Emma Congdon, Stitch Rovia. I mean, just imagine you could change all those colors to match, like if you have a really like fancy, pretty craft room. Um, that's what, April? Yeah. And then, there's May. Some scroll berries. June. Full coverage. July has a couple, ooh, a couple of different ones. So they're herbs. Cute, right? Here is, wait, ah, that was August. Wait, did I miss July? What is happening? No, that was July, August. All right, September, another 
almost full coverage. So it's on blue fabric. But whoa. Wait, are there beads on that? I will check in just a second. I think they're just cross stitch. Um, this one's October. So this has two. So it's like a book. Like you could wrap it around a book. And then November. This is not my style and I will not be stitching it, but that's a lot of work. And then this one is December 2023. Look at that Santa. Oh, it looks so good. It's not so much my style, but it looks awesome. So, with the calendar, you get the book, which has all of the patterns in it. So let me check September. Ah. All right, Autumn Sunbeam, let me see. No, it is all X's. There are no beads. So it's just the way the confetti is in it. To ma It made it look like... You could probably use beads, though. I don't see why you couldn't. You could totally put some beads in there and give it a little dimension. I mean, it, it looks like it has enough dimension just by the stitching but so anyway you get these and then you get like a little uh um like pocket calendar thing that also has another pattern I didn't bring that up with me but um and they send you an envelope so you can write a check write a check literally the only thing we write a check for anymore is the water bill um but you just write a check and send it into them or you can call them I believe you can pay with a credit card over the phone or debit card. But, um, yeah, so definitely keeping that. And that's really all I have. I can't believe how short my videos are now. It's so funny because, um, who was I watching? Oh, Leanne from, um, brain fart. Total brain fart. <laughs> Sorry, Leanne. Small town stitches. Um, <laughs> so Leanne said the same thing. It's like the longer you do floss tube, the shorter your videos get. Truth. Mine have been really short lately, and I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm just not talking as much. I'm not babbling on like I am right now. So that's all I've got. I am going to take care of this yarn before the cats destroy it. And... um do a little stitching before my husband gets home with the kids because that was him but he dropped off some groceries to make tacos tonight and um went back to get the kids so that's all i got hope you guys have a great week i hope no one is like dying in the heat because it's hot here um and i hope you guys get lots of stitching done i will hopefully have even more stitching next week so i will talk to you soon Bye.